Hi, this is a small heads up to let you know that the next version of M2A, that will be 1.4.0, will have a lot of improvements regarding IPR. So we've been through a long list of IPR update issues, referring to the situations where the IPR is not up to date because some changes were not cached properly, which of course we never want to happen. And the goal is that you never have to use this menu again, update full scene, because M2A does the necessary. So the video's description shows the current list of issues that have been addressed. I cannot show them all at once here, but here's a couple of issues that you had reported us. So I have a stand-in in this scene that is animated. I also have some particles, and if I move the timeline, I can see that they were updated, which didn't happen before. And there are many other changes in motion blur instances, uh, new shaders being created, bump, etc. And there are also other changes, some optimizations, because sometimes the IPR could restart suddenly with no reason. And that could happen, for example, if you moved an unrendered camera. Uh, here we can see that nothing happens. Or also when you save your scene, or when you opened a new window. So we've tried to address some of these issues. And here, for example, if I create a checkerboard, well, nothing happens an until I really connect it to my shading tree, and then the IPR restarts. So that's the other kind of improvements that will be next version. And also it used to be overkill to do IPR with motion blur enabled and there have been a lot of optimizations on that topic. So now you should be able to do IPR with motion blur. So all of this together really makes IPR much better now than it used to be. And well, of course, if there are issues that you don't find in the, in the list that we provide, well, don't hesitate to let us know so that we can eventually address them before the release happens. Goodbye.